Happy New Year. So it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, but I thought I would take the time and do like three or four in one shot because it's not like I haven't been following and keeping track of things that have been going on. I just haven't done the video. Also, I've been sick and there's holidays and all kinds of stuff happening. So we, so Christmas has passed and New Year's is here. Um, <clears throat> we did several things over Christmas, but uh, none of them included much work so <laughs> so we didn't do a lot of homeschooling over Christmas uh, as you can see there's natural learning opportunities um, within every day anyway so we kind of capitalized on those and made the most of those uh, we went to a friend's house we made cookies and uh, something happened while we were there where uh, my oldest did something that his friend was not happy with and so he came home and had to deal with um, deal with that they talked on the phone and so it was kind of an exercise in empathy and I thought that was um, critical so we really I kind of made an opportunity to capitalize on that you did something that was hurtful to your friend can you imagine how she feels and let's go through the process together and so that's what we did um, before actual Christmas Day we went out a lot we just did a lot of things outside of course during Christmas holidays uh, my husband had off and we'd spent a lot of time together and one of those uh, things that we did together was make power balls now the power balls were a gift from a friend and uh, it was very neat to me. I had never seen anything like it. So the boys spent probably a few days just going back to the Powerball kit and making a new Powerballs. It was very interesting. Um, of course, gifts. They got Rock'em Sock'em Robots, which they played with, which is, I guess it's a throwback, but I it kind of skipped over my generation because I was a girl and I don't think we were really into that stuff. Um, Mario Kart little figurines that was the uh, thing that my oldest wanted the Rock'em Sock'em was a gift from grandma and then my youngest got a race car so we just kind of kept it simple we're not really big on a whole lot of gifts and I have my own thoughts about Christmas in which my kids have sort of adopted um, they do not believe in Santa so <laughs> everything that they find under that tree it comes from daddy's it comes from daddy and mommy uh, yeah we went out to Costco and just kind of peeked at some of the prices that looked like they were a little bit higher and explain what a famine was and how it translates sometimes into society. Not that we're necessarily going through a famine, but I did want to put that word out there and that alert out there because um, I don't know if you've noticed, but things are getting more expensive. They're becoming a little bit more sparse, especially good things, organic things. They're going bad a little bit more quickly and it just seems like it fits into that category. And um, yeah, so we were racing into the new year after that. We counted down because they dropped the ball at midnight in New York, our Eastern Standard Time. But we are uh, on the West. So we are on the West, so we got to watch the ball drop at about 9 o'clock. And so after that, they, they watched the ball drop and then it was bedtime. And so, um, so yeah, it was pretty eventful uh, holiday. How was your holiday? I'm um, hoping that you had some of the same uh, sweet moments and were able to really just uh, settle in and enjoy. But I will be posting another video soon and um, just trying to catch up. So I hope you're having a great new year so far. I will be back.